Hey everybody, so if you are wondering why I'm here on a Thursday, it is because I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year. So I have never done Vlogmas, so you're gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna try to post every day in December, but I can't guarantee that. If somebody gets sick or an emergency or something happens, I'll let you know in my community tab. But I am super excited to bring y'all along with me this month. I have the whole month filled and planned with thrifting, thrift hauls, thrift styling, thrift flips, DIYs, cooking in the kitchen with some of my thrifted finds. I mean, we just have a month full of fun secondhand things. So I hope that you will come along with me through the month of December. Well, up until Christmas day, actually. My vlogmas will end on Christmas day, but I am so excited. So today I'm gonna share with you a little guest bedroom makeover. The guest bedroom at our house is also used for all of the kids when they come over. So it has a fun and playful theme for Christmas. It's so cute, they love it. So I thought I would bring you along today and show you how I turned our guest bedroom into like a little Santa's wonderland for the kiddos when they come over. It is super cute, I did a very simple little makeover in there to kind of freshen it up, rearrange some things. I've got some before and after pictures or videos for you, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. So come on and let's go check out this guest bedroom and hopefully it'll get you inspired to get your guest bedroom ready for all of those Christmas guests. Okay, so I know that the lighting is not that good in here. It's really dark, I apologize. But what I'm doing is painting this part of the wall here. Now let me tell you the story behind this just very quickly. I did a little sample piece over there to make sure it would hold the paint, and it will. But this is flooring that I had left over from doing our homeschool room and Elizabeth's room, the flooring in there. And I had some wallpaper on that wall, that half there, that it would not come off. And some might say it would be easier to just replace the paneling. Well, maybe, but paneling is very expensive and making all the proper cuts and going around a window and doing all the proper cuts, that's expensive and time consuming also. So I did this and this really only took me like four or five hours to complete. I just did liquid nails and little paneling nails. And so I'm hoping that painting it this heirloom white will kind of help brighten it up in here a little bit. So that's what I'm gonna do next, is just get this wall, just that top part, painted. So it'll have like a little two-tone kind of look to it. I'm not painting anything else but that, but I really think it'll make a difference in here and brighten it up. y'all so here is the wall after i just took the painters tape off i am so sorry that the lighting is horrible in here we have a new fan that we're going to be putting up and it has three lights on it so i'm hoping that the lighting in here gets much better because it it's just awful but anyway look at the wall y'all look how good that looks my husband even came in here last night and said oh wow it looks like shiplap and i wasn't even trying for that but i am not mad about it i really like how this turned out so now that the painting is done i am about to do a little rearranging in here and then show you guys how i decorated this room for christmas my purpose in doing this is to show you how you can get your guest room ready for your christmas guest and how inexpensive it can be because that was literally not even a whole quart of paint that i used maybe half and I, but probably because I just did half a wall. But we're about to get this guest room in order so that when we have some people come for the holidays, they will feel nice and cozy in here. Okay, so here is the fan that I got to put in the guest room, but I also got one of these to put in our homeschool room. And y'all, I'm gonna show you a before picture, and I wanna just show you what a difference it makes to change out a ceiling fan. When my nephew, I hired him to come hang these because my husband's just kind of pressed for time. Um, I could not believe the difference that a ceiling fan made in a room. So I'm going to show y'all here real quick the before 
and then I'll show you what it looks like after. But this is the one that I got, this Hampton Bay. And I have one of these in my kitchen, my living room, and now in my homeschool room. And I'm, he's about to install this one in the guest room. And it just makes a huge difference in a room, y'all. I love these fans. Okay, so here's the before with the fan. Okay, so on this wall over here, I rearranged the room. I pulled this shelf out of our attic, y'all, when we did, um, I mean, excuse me, when we got all of our Christmas decor down. This shelf, y'all, my husband built when he was in high school. I still need to clean it, but I was trying to figure out where I wanted to place it. And because I need this to be in studs, it's going to kind of be off centered on this wall. But that's okay with me because the TV is going over here and I can find a couple of cute prints or something to put right here and something over here. Um, I don't mind that things are not all centered. Y'all know this by now. I, I do things a little different. But I was excited to find this because I'm going to be able to display some beautiful little country decor on it and cozy up this wall that was literally blank and has been for probably a couple of years. I used to have a big star up here and I took it down just because I wanted something different. And when I saw this little shelf and the fact that my husband actually built it and this was his room when he was a teenager and this is the same wall that it used to hang on, I couldn't, I couldn't take it no more. I decided this is where it needed to go. So y'all, I'm one of those people that I don't wait on my husband to get home to do stuff. So that's why you see, <laughs> that's why you see my little um, DIY because that is so heavy. So I like needed to find the perfect height for it so that I could just put the screws in those little things up there without me having to hold it by myself. So I'm excited to find this. It's not a thrift find, but it is definitely an old heirloom piece and it is solid wood, y'all. Look at the little scalloped edges on it. Isn't that so cute? I'm about to clean it up now that I know exactly where it needs to go and get this thing screwed into the wall. So here we are standing in the doorway and as you can see i did rearrange the room i love it so much better like this i guess we will start the little room tour over here and i'll talk y'all through some of this just kind of really quickly so i have just some christmasy decor up there some thrifted books this cabinet here is thrifted and it primarily holds all of my essential oils um we normally don't have the bright lights on in here unless the kids are in here playing. So that's a good little cabinet and a good little place to keep those. I got that for $10 at a garage sale. I have some thrifted stockings down here and I just got some lights from Hobby Lobby that are battery operated. And I put some red ribbon just on these stockings here just to bring a touch of red over here. 
Okay, y'all, I have to voice over right here because I did not realize that I had my finger over my microphone on my camera. So all I'm showing you here is that I took some drop cloth and made some DIY cloth curtains for our closet. We took the doors off and I absolutely love having the drop cloth curtains up there. And then I'm showing you a dough bowl that I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance a long time ago. I added a hook to the back and I hung it on the wall. The piece underneath that is a piece that I thrifted here very recently and decided to hang it on the wall underneath that. One of my newest little thrift finds with the countdown on it, I got that at Goodwill for like $2 and I thought the little Santa countdown was very cute just sitting on there. I got that at Hobby Lobby. And then over here I have a few pieces. Some are Hobby Lobby and some are thrifted. The books are thrifted. The little pewter piece is thrifted and the wooden candle there is thrifted. The big wooden Christmas tree and the little faux Christmas tree there on the books, that's all from Hobby Lobby. The little table is like an heirloom piece. It belonged to my grandmother and I just painted it. Okay, y'all, I really do love how these walls turned out. I have my Warren Kimball print here that I got at Goodwill. Remember, I did have this in my bedroom, but I moved it in here, and I think it looks perfect on this wall. Candy cane garland above the bed is from Hobby Lobby. And then just some pillows that I've got either as gifts or bought covers for. And this sheet here, these used to be on Elizabeth's bed. Um, but she didn't want them anymore, so I put them in here in the guest bedroom, and I think it just brings a fun little element to the bed. And so I just have that, and then some blankets, and this little stuff right here. Again, this is where the kids stay most of the time, so I try to have it. I tried to have it like kid friendly. I have their little goat there that they like to snuggle, and a thrifted book, thrifted basket. Y'all know everything is pretty much thrifted. So over here to the Christmas tree, the lighting is going to get weird. The Christmas tree is just from Walmart. It's just a basic, simple little no lights tree. I just added a few lights to it. And you can see, I'll try to get closer. I thrifted all of these little vintage ornaments at Goodwill and just hung them on the tree. I didn't put very many ornaments on this tree because I didn't want the kids pulling them off and all that. So I just put those few on there for them to look at and enjoy. And they love this, y'all, with the North Pole sign on there. They think that is so funny. That was, the North Pole sign was actually Elizabeth's. And she got that at Hobby Lobby one or two years ago. And she's, her style is kind of changing, so she didn't want it. And I kept it because I thought it might work perfect in here for the kids tree. And instead of putting a star or anything like that, I just put the welcome to the North Pole. And they think that is the funniest thing. Behind the tree over there is an oil lamp holder. But I have to find a new oil lamp. And I'll show y'all why. Okay, so this part right here. You have to have an oil lamp with a very skinny base. And I don't have one with a very skinny base. But I have um, a thrifted basket down there with just some blankets stuffed in it. And I just keep it like that because when the kids do come over or company, it's nice just to have extra blankets kind of stuffed down in there for them to grab if they get cold or if they need it. So that's why I have that there. And then over here I have an antique vanity table this belonged to my grandmother and i love this piece i'll try to get over here where y'all can get a good picture of it and all i have on here is just some bibles that are passed down from family one belongs to me one belongs to my husband and these little blow molds they are so cute the snowman and the santa i got those at a garage sale for i believe 50 cents a piece and all they needed was the little lights. Now, I do have the lights in them, and that's why you can't see them very well. I'll try to get y'all a better shot here in just a minute. And that's really all I have on the vanity. I tried not to go too overboard in here, but also wanted to make it fun. And that little platter there above the vanity, y'all can't see it good. It's giving a glare. I just got that very recent at Goodwill and decided to put a plate hanger on it. Let me move sides and see. There we go. And I hung that up there because this room kind of has a very primitive country look to it. So I wanted to hang that in there. Plus it needed something above this vanity. As you can see, the wall is still pretty empty over here. Except for that one little picture. But I don't want to put just anything. I want to wait till I find things that I really love. Okay, now onto this shelf that I talked about that I was hanging. 
all I did was just put some fun Christmassy things on here that were really fun for the kids. Now the wreath I got at um, a thrift store recently, I just added some red berries and stuffed it in there just because it needed like some greenery or a couple of spots just needed to be filled in. So I just kind of tucked it in there because I really didn't like it anywhere else that I put it. <laughs> so I just tucked it in there. I put this Polar Express book down here really low so that the kids could um, enjoy that. I've recently thrifted that. I don't think y'all have seen that haul, but it's coming. And then up here, I have these Fitz and Floyd little reindeer that I got at Salvation Army, um, I believe two years ago i could not believe when i found these y'all the whole set none of them were chipped or broke or anything you can see the little fitz and floyd stamp there these are just so cute and they all just do something different they all sit a different way i think these are so fun and precious so i put these in here but up a little high and told the kids these are just to look at these are not to play with so they know not to get those down and to just look at them through the christmas season <laughs> And they've done really good so far. And then on this shelf, I brought all of my little glass bottles from the bathroom and put them with just some ornaments flipped upside down on top of it to give it a red touch and just a fun little Christmas look here. That's literally all I did. I thrifted these little ornaments um, probably last year, I think. Yes. And then they're just the little ornaments and I just turned them upside down and put those in the bottles. I think those are so cute. And then this is a thrifted frame here. And then this little picture that's in there, I thrifted this a package and that actually still had the stencils and everything in it. And last year I displayed that in a way to where I just propped it up. But this year I was like, I want to put that in a frame and display it. I think that it is so cute. So that's what I did this year. I just kind of cut it down and displayed it in this frame here on the shelf. I thought the big jolly Santa would be fun again for the kids in here. And then I have some little Santa boots that are thrifted on top of some thrifted books. These little Santa boots are just so cute. And then the top, I'm not going to get a stool, so y'all will just have to bear with how you can see it. On the top, I just have some thrifted books there on the end. And then I have this vintage Noel train, which I know is missing the L. So um, I just use the train as the L, and it works. And I do let Riot play with this so I don't know how many Christmases it's gonna last because he loves trains he's always asking to play with it and I only paid like a dollar 99 for it at the thrift store so I do let him play with that and enjoy it and then down here is where I keep a lot of their toys are in that box I use this basket so that they can put certain toys in it that they might want to carry to the living room or something and then before they can get any more they have to fill the basket back up with the toys bring them back in here put them away and then they can use the basket to get something else that's kind of the system we have in place and it works for us that rabbit she's super cute is thrifted as well as the little crocheted looking outfit on it I think it is so pretty the girls really like playing with her okay and over here beside that box is nothing but just a little table holding the tv the little drawer holds remotes i got this from kelsey probably a few weeks ago she was getting rid of it and i was like oh no i like that i can put it in the kids room so i keep the basket down there full of trains and monster trucks for the boys because they come running every time they get here where's the monster trucks where's the trains so i put them all in that one little basket right there so they knew right where to go and pull those out they really enjoy just having those and have just a book down there with the dvds for some movies for them so you can kind of see there's the whole wall and i had to put this shelf pretty much off center because i needed it to be in studs and to put it in the center you know meant no studs but that thing is super heavy so i did have to mount that kind of off center but that's okay i really don't care i will figure out something to put over here on the other side of it okay so i shut the curtains to try to give y'all the nighttime feel of what it looks like with the lights but it really does not look the same on camera as it does in person it's so cute at night it's so cozy in here the kids love it but i know y'all aren't getting the full effect on film it just does not come across the same and one last thing i wanted to show y'all the difference that this fan made in here it just made a world of difference to me i cannot wait to get my ceilings um drywalled 
this spring. I'm so looking forward to that. I hate these drop ceilings. Y'all know that I have told you many times, but I've been saving up for quite a while. So hopefully I'll be able to get that done this spring. But y'all, the difference a ceiling fan makes in your room is incredible. I love this fan compared to what I had in here so so much okay i hope that y'all enjoyed vlogmas day one or thriftmas what are we going to call it y'all tell me should we call it vlogmas should we call it thriftmas i don't know y'all watch it what do you like the most do you like thriftmas kind of has a ring to it considering my channel is all about thrifting and with that being said i did want to tell you that every video that i bring has you has something to do with thrifting whether it's using a pan that we thrifted we're going to cook something together um, styling thrifted decor I do have a Goodwill video coming for you tomorrow that will not change every Friday I will have as my usual thrifting videos and then the next day we'll have some fun things to go after that and then the next day so I hope that y'all are as excited as I am okay so I had to switch arms that is one thing I am not used to doing I'm not used to vlogging like this where I hold the camera up for long periods of time so I'm gonna have to get the hang of that well all right y'all I hope that you have a wonderful Thursday evening let me know what you think do you think you're gonna enjoy vlogmas thriftmas what are we gonna call it y'all let me know down in the comments okay so I'll see y'all back here tomorrow with a goodwill thrift with me we hope that y'all have a wonderful evening we love y'all and we'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video it's Christmas when the snow starts to fall. Then you know it's Christmas for the children above all. Then you know it's Christmas.